it is already a crazy week. Welcome back to the print shop, print bam. We didn't come into work yesterday for Veterans Day. Now it's Tuesday. We've knocked out 13 jobs so far. It is the end of the day. We are wrapping things up, trying to get more stuff done, but it is just crazy. With even getting 13 jobs done, we still have 88 on the schedule to do. Obviously, some of those are not due this week, but we like to get stuff done as fast as possible. So we are kind of starting to change the way that we do stuff internally. We're going to probably split the company so that we have the production and then the sales side, but still kind of TBD. But in preparation of that, I'm going through and doing better billing and invoicing for stuff to myself. Um, so with that, we're putting in like charges for unboxing, reboxing, setup, run charges, folding, individually shipping, group shipping, totals, rush fees, and all of that. And it has just been crazy. Along with that, we are doing some official hydro jugs, and those are slightly different. They are 105 millimeters versus 100 millimeters for my imported um, 40 ounce tumblers. So we had to make and print a new jig so that we could do those. Luckily, Hydro Jug is here in Utah, so we were able to just drive and pick them up. Along with that, lots of stickers going on, lots of apparel. We do have a rush job that's due tomorrow that we ended up having to switch to DTF because my salesperson didn't realize the hats that they ordered are a performance like polyester, and with the stretchiness, embroidery just did not look good. So we've got to pick those up tomorrow morning and get those pressed. It'll be 150 with two hits, and it will actually go significantly faster than running them on embroidery. Other than that, we're still knocking out the store order. We are trying to get all of the other orders done this that are due this week that are not the store. And then once we get those done, we'll move on to the store order. So we knocked out a bunch of heat presses or heat pressing today with some DTF. And we also got a bunch of stuff folded and ordered and organized. And we did get the new shipment of imported tumblers. So that is a bit crazy and hectic because I think the sales staff said 70 something boxes showed up yesterday. So it's going to be a crazy week. Look forward to it and we'll see you tomorrow. Bit of a crazy day today trying to get everything wrapped up. We did finalize the event order, which was 150 hats, 150 beanies. The beanies were super difficult because we had to use Solvi and cleaning the Solvi between the fine details took a long time. We were going to embroider the hats, but we ended up doing DTF on them instead. One, it looked better with the small detail and two, it made it go significantly faster. So we got both heat presses out. We have the new cheap Chinese one, and then we have the stalls 360. Along with that today, we pressed a bunch of backpacks. They are, yes, right there on that cart. Got to get them all shipped out tomorrow as part of that 1800 piece order. And sadly, even more boxes showed up today. I can't seem to win. There is more coming in than going out, but hopefully we'll get caught up. We also got some Christmas stockings embroidered or started embroidered. Those are due tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get those wrapped up as well. Sean is over in the corner unboxing tumblers so we can get that done and hopefully this new laser will be up and running tomorrow my nephew uh, josh is going to stay late and do some troubleshooting with the manufacturer to try to get that all taken care of they apparently need to remote in and adjust some settings that are not working we're getting a skew on the right side of tumblers so it's basically instead of going straight down it's so we're gonna get that fixed tomorrow, but good things happening. Great progress today with the massive order as well as just orders to get the week rounded out. We've been able to get a lot done and we're almost on track to make sure production is at least covering its own expenses. Part of how we do that is we outsource a lot of things like our great sponsor, firesprint.com. If you need signs, banners, stickers, or anything else large format, make sure you check them out. 
They are a great partner if you need backups or if you just don't want to get equipment yet. My nephew is starting a business right now and I'm trying to teach him to outsource everything, just work on getting sales first and find great partners to do the work for you. Firesprint is that. They even offer free shipping on almost everything when you spend at least 50 bucks. Make sure you check them out and save 10% off your first order by using the coupon code down in the description. We were able to get quite a few Stanleys, um, not Stanleys, Hydro Jugs engraved today, cleaned and prepped for delivery tomorrow. The new van has been super helpful to get deliveries and pickups and different things taken care of. We also are running some tone on tone matte glossy stickers because my cyan is about to expire so i needed to use it up um got those running they look great and just lots of craziness trying to get stuff shipped and out the door i think we have 300 packages for the post office to pick up tomorrow when they came today they're like uh we can't take everything our van is full so hopefully tomorrow they will come more prepared if not we'll be making a trip to the post office to get stuff delivered. Uh, today was headphones, backpacks, and a few other things that I don't remember. So off to Friday. Friday is sample day. We complete samples for the salespeople and we usually do lunch for production, go over the week, talk about how things are going, and then end the week off strong and try to go home a little bit early. So on to tomorrow. One of the reasons I like tracking things is because it helps motivate me. Knowing that last week we did 35 jobs and wanting to beat it this week, I stayed a little bit later to make sure we knocked out enough jobs to beat last week. We were able to successfully bill enough to cover production, so that doesn't include sales. Sales is kind of their own thing, and they're making more money, and we're covering ourselves, at least as of right now. So good things happening. We were able to start a big 500 piece tumbler order and get that started, but not wrapped up. Got confirmation from the customer on it. I was able to do a little bit of troubleshooting on the Colorado to get it kind of functioning again because it was having a heating issue and it turns out the air filter was just a little clogged. And then to round off the week, we printed some business cards and some name tags on the logo jet so great way to finish up the week beating last week which that's the goal just get better and better every week hope you have a great week print fam and we'll see you in the next one